Well, the Browns, a little bit of a disappointing loss to the Chiefs by five yesterday. Uh, but Baker Mayfield showed great development. I know he kind of got crazy and was trying to make something happen that first drive of the third quarter through an interception because he threw late over the middle against his body. But all in all, Baker Mayfield has shown a lot of development, and Kevin Stefanski thinks it's going to continue to just keep going as he gets his second year in this system. For the first time ever, Baker Mayfield will have a second year in an offensive system. Baker and I spent some time uh, together today, and I can tell you he's very excited not to learn a new offense. So that, that's, a, that's a huge part of this is we can start at that baseline. We can start at that foundation and build on what, what we have uh, done to date. I think there's a bunch of areas, Jake, where he did a very good job uh, taking care of the ball, um, you know, just learning this system and some of the intricacies of this system. And, and I knew that it was going to you know, get better over time with, with losing the offseason. And I think you saw that from Baker. Uh, I think he, once he started getting comfortable in what we were doing, once I got comfortable, uh, or rather once I was using more concepts that he was comfortable with, which is a big part of this, uh, I think he really started to play at a high level. So, uh, you know, proud of the progress he made. But if I had to put, you know, if I had to say one thing, Jake, I'd say just take care of that football. And uh, that is Kevin Stefanski talking about the development of the quarterback, Baker Mayfield. Let's bring Bud Shaw back in. And uh, Bud, we alluded to it, but boy, the, the Baker Mayfield now as opposed to at the beginning of the season – uh, there's no question that fifth-year option will get picked up. Um, the interesting thing is they don't really have to do anything as far as a new contract that can kind of let it play out a little bit, make sure what they saw is uh, what, they, what they think they have is what they have, mm -hmm. and, and just wait on that. Yeah, and I, I don't think there's any question anymore, Dave. I don't know at what point it uh... – it, it, it flipped during the season because I know in the first five weeks or so, um, I don't think anybody thought it would be a great idea to rush into an extension after seeing him. I mean, ball security was an issue. Accuracy was an issue. Um, over the last eight weeks, nine weeks, probably even more than that, um, I thought he really he took that step that you, all, you want young quarterbacks to take. And there's no doubt that a big part of that was just being comfortable with what was happening offensively. Now, clearly he has some weapons around him and Chubb and Hunt and, uh, and the receivers came through this year for him, I thought in the absence of Odell Beckham Jr. So, but that's what every quarterback needs, you know, no, no quarterback, no matter how good he is, is going to go out there and, and, and show himself to be a franchise guy without help. So I think it's nothing but positives for this guy. And, um, it's another thing that, at this time every year, we'd already be looking at the, the, the college uh, crop of quarterbacks and wondering what the Browns could do to get one of them. Yeah, and, and, you know, the arm talent is there. You can see the mental, you know, the makeup is, you know, I know the interception that I, when he threw that interception to start the third, I thought, yeah, this might be, this <laughs> might be the end of this one. Um, but again, you know, he just he admitted you, you don't want to throw late across your body over the middle. Okay, he knows that. Don't do it. You know he's a competitor. He's going to try to find a way to make it happen. And in that situation, he realized they need points. Yeah. Listen, the the one thing he did in early in his career that that came back to haunt him was after having that success uh, after the last five six games of his rookie year. You know, he kind of sat back and thought. Hey, you know, I got this figured out now. Look how well I did in, in such a short time. I think he, he knows now that he's tasted some real success, that, that he can't allow that to happen again. So I would suspect with Stefanski in charge and, and, uh, and, and Mayfield having already gone through that, you know, that growing period where you, you don't know how hard it is to win in the league, um, there, there should be nothing but upside for this guy. 